So every month the theme changes, and like you mentioned, it is monsters. Now, if you look at these, you may think that these are hard, like you wouldn't be able to squeeze them like this. This one actually right here is a backpack. Terry is the owner of Art of Toys. Now, you sell some toys, but for the most part, it is art that is toy-related. Correct. So we do different theme shows, and it's artists that do their art in the form of toys, or they use toys to make their art. Unless it's part of the theme show, which is the wall, wall art as well. And so, what are these made out of? How is he able to do this? He sculpts them in styrofoam. It's Thomas Campion out of New York, and he first does a styrofoam, then he casts it in rubber, peels it off, stuffs it, and paints it. And we have them here. No. And they are they are toys, but they are works of art. Yeah, and do you do, you have uh, some local people too. In fact, these clocks from a lady in the foothills okay. and Wendy Gaminski. <laughs> and they're one of a kind, Those and cool. I just I think they're so fun. And they're all hand painted, and um, they're working clocks. Yeah, and these finger puppets, you can actually bring in a picture, and then he will make a what? finger puppet of you. I love it. And he, oh, uh, he's cute. featuring some of the monsters here. There, uh, what's his name? Uh, Stan Crowley, and he's from Chicago. Okay, and then this right here, this, uh, is, this is the big, big time. Yeah, this is Marilyn Radzit. She's my most well-known international artist. Wow. She's out of Hawaii now, and um, these are one-of-a-kind creations, and these two happen to be vampire brides. And, and she Very is cool. collected by the she Clintons, is, yeah. Oprah, a lot of people it's love her. More, yeah, she's got a lot of different collections. Okay, let's walk back through here, because what's really neat about these, and, and I have to tell you, if you've never been in this store, you definitely need to come in, because everything looks easy. Even better in person. But these from far away, they don't look really like monsters. The closer you get, the more you can see that they are monsters. And let me take you back here, too, because uh, this gentleman, uh, Chris Cinder, well known for doing things with robots, he's a local guy as well. But when he knows the theme, he might say, okay, let me try and find something. Fun. Yeah, so this month he's got a little wall going here. Uh, the Candy Clown uh, is. A monster. <laughs> and he's quite scary, but he's so cool. And then back here, too, you can see that there are some toys to purchase as well, but we mainly want to feature the art of toys, which is kind of a weird a concept uh, to grasp when, when you're talking about something. I want to end with this really quick. Um, this is called Frownies. <laughs> Martha Stewart made this famous, and this woman, what happened, her son wanted a doll. But she, when she went to go buy them, they were all smiley, and she thought they were creepy. So she said, I'm going to make you one. He took it to school. Another boy liked it. And then more kids wanted it. The school said, hey, do a booth at our craft fair. She did. Martha Stewart came to the bo booth, featured her. What? And now these Bam. are very popular. I love it. Cool. Smiley. See, he's cute. He's a cutie pie. Yeah. See? He doesn't have to be smiling to be cute.